Hey, it's that time again. Time to get on target at the hub. I'm Birdman. And I'm Bruce. And uh, this, of course, is Get on Target at the Hub. Hey, yep. uh, Bruce, um, we've had some people watching us. Uh, yes, a couple questions, fun. I guess. Yeah, yeah, a couple questions. So um, I wanted to address those up front before we forget. Okay. Uh, the first was a D.D. Berry, and she was asking about, we did a Smith & Wesson, I think it was 59, 56, or something yes, like that. Yes, it was the, the double single uh, Smith. Yeah, and you can take a look at the question. Oh, yes, we look, at, look at the question. And the answer, uh, the, uh, I think the question was, is there a way that you could shoot the the, uh, the first round, have the first round single action, and then all the, all the rest of them single action at the same time? We talked about it being double the first shot, right? And single afterwards, right? It's double the first shot because it, we uh, we pull the gun out of a holster or purse into double action mode, which is like a revolver. So you have a hard pull first time, right? Because uh, and it's a little safer that way. And then the second shots would be back. Uh, they'd be single action. Then it'd be much easier. I'd go from probably 11 pound trigger pull to about say five and a half. Yeah. Now her question: You can't just have the hammer back and have it in your purse or holster that way. But you can, when you bring the gun up in your hand in the ready position, pull the hammer back so the first shot is single action. And okay, then every now, shot afterwards would be single. It's like uh, this gun we're going to talk about. But so the question I have then is: is if if you've racked it and there's a chamber in the round, is the hammer's that, back? Okay. Did that gun have a uh, the decocker? A yes. decocker? Yeah. yeah. So you just simply decock it. Decock it, and then when you're ready, you can pull the hammer back if you want an easy shot the first time. But for the de defensive purposes, uh, we we like people to learn that the the harder pull the first shot. Which, oh. which is about two inches different. Than okay, so hopefully that answers your question. If, if not, not, they swing by. Ask again or stop by and uh, we'll yeah. help you out there. Okay, the next question then was uh, David Linden asked mm -hmm. about, uh, do you remember? Have we done Savage? one on a Savage 99 and 300? Yes, uh, uh, the answer is yes and no. Okay. Yes. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. <laughs> yeah, and the reason we haven't, uh, and we probably do a, a, a used point of the used gun, of course, they haven't made those guns in maybe 20 years. Right. A Savage 99. Very popular. They're lever action. They're kind of like Savage's answer to the Winchester, like but action. nicer and more accurate. And, and different calibers. They had them in 308, 243. Real nice calibers. 300 Winchester, I mean 300 uh, uh, Savage was the, uh, the round chambered for that gun, which is different than a 30-30. So eventually we'll get a good used one here, a clean one, yep. and we'll do a, a point of the gun on it. They're an excellent gun. They're older. So you, don't, you can't buy them new anymore, of course. And the ammo is slightly harder to get than like a thirty thirty, But still around. Excellent, excellent gun. Worth a lot on the okay. resale value. Okay, David. So stay tuned, and uh, yeah. we'll try to get that in there for you. Now, today, we've got another mm -hmm. point of the used gun. Yes. A, a kind of a, a nostalgia piece kind of goes back for me because my, my first gun was something like this, different caliber. And I got to shoot this with you, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's different. So I'm not sure how we're going to call this. Uh, uh, this is a Ruger Blackhawk, and we'll just do a quick, uh, uh, this is a single action uh, handgun, and so on these you have to open the gate and turn the cylinder, because they don't open like a double action, no. and make sure it's all safe, and we are pointed in the wall, even though it looks like we're pointing at Rob. <laughs> <laughs> wide angle uh, photography, trick photography. Is yeah, it it's, it's, it's all. So, so getting back to this, this is a, a Ruger Blackhawk. And the reason we're going to talk about single actions is because they're so basic. And is there's some neat stuff about them. Uh, there's nostalgia. There's people think back in the old cowboy days, you know. Right. Uh, the advantages of them, there's actually less moving parts in a single action. And what I mean by single action, in order to shoot this, we have to pull the hammer back every time. You'll notice that when we shoot it in a, a video, yep. uh, that we have to pull it back. Now, there's ways to pull it back with your left hand so you can maintain shooting with your right. Uh, and in the old days, people used to fan these. Yeah. If we ever watch some of those old, the old, old fashioned West. cowboy westerns, yeah. The old west where they just they, go they, like crazy. They'd fan it. <laughs> uh, so the advantage this has basically is less moving parts, very basic. Uh, a nice basic gun, uh, and they're usually stronger than most of the double actions were in the old days. So you find these guns, uh, and, and of course they're still made now. This is used because it was owned by somebody else. But we need to talk about used for a second because you can look at this gun, and it's like new. Came right. in the box, everything. Uh, guns really, they're n none of them have been unfired. They're fired at the factory. Uh, there's a little. Uh, these came with a cartridge and a little cardboard uh, envelope the date they fired the gun. Right. And some of the guns are fired once or twice. Some of the revolvers are fired maybe five or six times. So all guns are, if you think about it, they're used. That's why you, you buy them brand new. When you get them home, you got to clean them. What's this? <laughs> They've all been test fired. Right. 
So knowing that, sometimes and, and, you, you know, can get a good value on a used gun. I honestly, mean. I don't know why you would want something that hadn't been tried out. You know, one of the one of the vehicles that that everybody loves is a Porsche. Uh, Porsche, you can't buy a Porsche with zero miles on it. And, and those that try to tell you that, oh yeah, no, you can. Porsche has always driven every single car off their line. So there's 13 miles on it, or like 23 kilometers, something like that. That's on those cars every single time. And in fact, if they don't, they go out, they do a test on them. If they don't pass the test. Then they, they put them back in and they make sure it's right. And that's the kind of thing I'd want out of anything yeah. quality made. A good handgun is, is, is like that. And, and why I, I like these, uh, is there's just something about a nice single action revolver. Now, you shot one. Was that the first time you shot a single action today? Uh, no. You've shot it was them before. My grandfather's, like, I think, uh, I, I did my grandfather's a long time ago, but that's. Well, was, that's it a high, was it a, like a 357 like this one? Yep, 357. Okay, so let's we'll touch on this real quick. This is a Ruger Black Hawk, and this is what they call their new model, which means sometimes about 10 or 12 years ago, 15 years ago, they started calling it a new model. They made a couple slight changes <laughs> in the frame. The, originally, these single actions, you could only carry uh, five rounds in them um, because if they fell out of your holster and landed on a hammer, they would go off. And that's how people were killed or maimed or uh, they shot their horse or whatever happened when the shot gun f- their horse when their when their Kill gun them. fell out of the holster. So what these have uh, uh, there's actually a transfer bar inside here. You just you oh. see that you yep. can probably see that. Maybe we we'll get a picture. We'll of it. We'll show a picture of the transfer. So take yeah. a look at that. And, we'll and then the that's so bar. one of it does fall. It doesn't go off. So you can actually load these with six. Nice. Uh, and uh, you can tell by the heft of this gun is it's a tank. Uh, they they have. Like I said, probably about 25% less moving parts, 27% than a double action. Right. And they tend to be stronger. And they also tend to be slightly less expensive. Cool. Uh, Going back a long time, these sold for about $100 when they were new. Now they're selling in the $600 range. (laughs) Okay. And you can get these uh, for about four and a half used that are like brand new. So uh, I just got to look around, try to get a good deal someplace. And then once they get to about four and a half, they probably about stay there. Okay. So if you buy it used, uh, you're you not going to lose that $100 or 120 or tax and all that stuff. Right. Uh, and you just have to try to find one. We get a lot of them in here. Okay. So, uh, and take a look at the shooting of it. Yeah, so let's take a look at that. For uh, those of you in the video, hang on a second. We're going we're gonna to run right over to, the, to show that. So hold on and look at that. The video and audio will be right back. Okay, so, yeah, that was a shooting of it. You saw the targets, and, uh, you know, at the end, we'll show a little more about the gun and things like that. Yeah, and one big difference in this gun, for people that can see it, hopefully, uh, is that the way the grip is made, uh, it, it, your hand is, it, the barrel is higher uh, in, ratio, in relationship to your hand than mm-hmm. the semi-automatic, uh, and so it tends to lift. And you notice shooting it, it actually rolls. And if you look at this grip, it's designed to do this roll. Now... It, it helps absorb the recoil because yeah. it is, even for a heavy gun, it's, it's had pretty good recoil. When, of course, we're shooting 357. This is a 357. And so it rolls up. And, and so if you're trying to shoot it with two hands, if they get a chance to see it, you'll see it rolling in my hand. Uh, we don't have a picture of it rolling in your hand, but you know what I'm talking about. Yes. It doesn't stay in your hand flat. Uh, it's just a very fantastic gun. Now, function and reliability was a 10. Shootability is a 10. It's pretty accurate. You can tell by looking at the target. Yeah, very good. And uh, uh, benefits... Uh, it being uh, a single action with less moving parts, mm-hmm. uh, they say, though, the, um, that you can't shoot these out. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you shot 100,000 rounds through it, you might wear it out. Right. But it's you know extremely uh, re- uh, reliable. Power factor, we give it a 9. It's a 357. Right. And once 357 gets to 4 inches and above, it starts to become very po- uh, powerful mm-hmm. because it needs barrel length. Uh, carry options, we give it a 9. Uh, you need to carry it in a holster of some kind. It's fairly heavy. Although they make, Galco makes a really nice, beautiful leather holster for about 80, 85 bucks. You can carry it in a regular strong uh, side on a two degree angle, uh, or you can carry it cross draw with the same holster. And cross draw is nice for, uh, this is a four and five eighths barrel length, uh, which is basically the same length as the ejector shroud here. So you eject a right. empty rounds out of it. And that's the shortest bar- uh, barrel you can get in these. A lot of them are five and a half, six and a half. They go to like maybe seven. But this is easier to carry. This is very popular, the, the four and a half, or this is four and five eighths. Uh, and they're a little bit more 
you, you get to, you look a little harder to find the shorter barrels, but I think you'll find them more functional. Yeah, and it's got adjustable rear sights. Adjustable rear sights, yep. Yeah. So uh, ammo cost, we're going to give it a nine because you can shoot thirty eights out of it. Now yeah. You're, now you're down to seventeen dollars a box of fifty, where we're shooting three fifty sevens, and they're about twenty seven dollars a box of fifty. Yeah. But you can hunt with the three fifty sevens if you wanted. Uh, well, we said retail new is about six. Um, and they sell for about four and a half to five on a used market. So the reset, we're going to give it a 10. It's got a value of 100%. This is a fantastic gun. If you found this used in this condition, uh, it, it's ne never going to go down. So the value of having a gun, this quality is a hand down. This, this one you just hand down to somebody. It's not, you're not going to wear this thing out. Fantastic gun. Ruger uh, Black Hawk, and this is the new model Black Hawk. Six round, 357, single action. Fantastic gun. Very cool. That's the Ruger. And, uh, you know, check that out. Uh, you can check it out online. You can stop in here at the store and check it out. Uh, next up is uh, going to be SHOT Show. So we're going to do a SHOT Show prep. will probably be the next show that we talk about. Uh, getting ready to go to that. A that, uh, few different events that happened before then uh, where you get to go out and range and shoot so you can watch live stuff. Um, if you've got friends, please pass around this YouTube channel. Get them to su subscribe to it. That would help us out a lot. You know, push the subscription. You can follow the Get on Target uh, playlist, which is all the Get on Target episodes. All the Get on Target at the Hub podcasts from this point forward are actually going to be both the podcast and put up on YouTube. So you'll be able to see exactly what's going on as we're talking about it. Um, Bruce, anything else that you want to let everybody know about what's coming in the new year as far as training or things like that? Well, a, a lot of a lot of new classes. We're just we're trying to get kind of back to basics as mm -hmm. we're, we're covering a lot more used guns now. We've talked before about guns. They don't seem to wear out. No. You have these guns that there's, what do they say, 350 million in the United States? Yeah, uh, it's crazy I think number. That's, I think that's low. Yeah. Because a lot of people have not don't want to talk about them. So, uh, so these guns don't wear out. You're going to be seeing more used. So this is a chance for you to, you know, uh, give us a, you know, if you got a question on a gun, is it worth buying? Maybe you're buying it from somebody else. Maybe you're buying it from another dealer. Or maybe you're going to buy it from us. We'll, we'll give you an opinion of the value. People come in all the time for us to look at their used guns. And I think used guns are going to be big the next couple of years. Um, as you expand your collection or decide that you want to go a different way, right. you, you might find a used one and, and save a couple hundred bucks. Very cool. So awesome. I, I think used is going to be really big this year. And back to basics and basic training, good ammo, good holsters, cases, stuff like that. Okay, so make sure you subscribe. That button's going to show up up there, I think. Um, and then there'll be a playlist button down over in this corner, so you can check that out. Uh, I'm Birdman. And I'm Bruce, and be safe.